Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron and I does stuff. Uh, and this week, we're doing candy. And I know that probably does not sound all that exciting. You probably got some Almond Joys or some M&Ms or some, I don't know, a Snickers in your glove compartment right now getting all melty. Uh, well, that's not the kind of candy that I'm talking about. Uh, this week, we are going international. I went to a Seoul Asian market here in Far, Texas, which is about as far from Seoul as you can get. See, did a far joke. Uh, and then because we live like 10 minutes from Mexico, I uh, also went to a store and got some candy from Mexico. So what we're going to do is, and by we, I mean me and my wife. She doesn't quite know it yet. She just saw me come in with bags of candy. She doesn't know I'm roping her into this international candy challenge. We're going to be tasting these and sort of giving our thumbs up or thumbs down. Hopefully, you guys at home can uh, watch along with us. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, we might be besties. And if you don't like, share, or subscribe, well, I guess I won't be mad at you. Uh, so let's run through some of the candy that we got. Some lollipop with salt and lemon powder. Mm, thinking that's gonna be a no. Got some chamoy. These look like they might be hot. From that Seoul Asian market, there is some watermelon and some pineapple gummy candies. Sweet potato snacks. Uh, it looks like they have sesame seeds on them. I've never had a sweet potato with sesame seeds, uh, but we will today. Um, this box, I don't know what it is. It looks like some little bitty crackers, uh, but I can't pronounce any other stuff on the box. Um, so we're gonna be trying that. Some fruit candy with salt and chili. I'm seeing a theme here with my candy from Mexico. It's got a lot of chili. I'm not used, really used to eating chili on my candy. Got some chestnut rice cake cookies. Uh, they don't look all that appetizing on the box, but hopefully uh, they are. As well as the fourth pound bag of pinata. Uh, and I know it's pinata candy because it clearly says pinata across the front. And this is the international symbol of pinatas. So what I'm going to do, get my wife to come out and uh, we're going to get to opening up some candy and trying it out. Honey, have a seat. We got some stuff to try. You guys didn't notice, we got our two month old strapped to the chest because he doesn't like to get uh, put in his swing, very expensive swing that we acquired for him. Uh, and so he's gonna be strapped to mom as we check out this assortment of international candy. Where would you like to start? Nothing hot. Nothing hot. All right. First things first, I pop up freaks all the honeys. Uh, sweet potato snacks. All right, put you guys Boom. It doesn't, really, doesn't really smell like much of anything. I'm gonna let you go first. That's actually not that bad. I don't know about these uh, sesame seeds. That ain't that bad. How many carbs in this? Way too many. Way too many. Uh, by the way, we do our version of keto, which is essentially just making sure we don't take in a certain number of carbs. Another one. This challenge is all the way out the window. No sesame seeds. Carb count gonna be way up. Okay, not bad. Uh, in case you care, there's 21 grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, and that's uh, about 32 pieces. Yeah, I actually ain't that bad. Yeah. All right, let's do these rice cakes. Oh, they come in their own little individual packaging, yeah. and they're soft. I thought they looked extra dry on the front. They feel like they're chewy. Mm, I'm guessing carb count is through the roof on this one too. Mm, 16 grams of carbs, no fiber. Mom's gonna stand. Mm, yeah, little guy's getting ready to get active. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. It's like a nougat in the middle. Mm -mm. <laughs> the outside of that is so powdery. All right, um, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you just ain't it. Mm -hmm. This is not where it's at. Oh. Uh, mm -mm. I'm gonna right. go ahead and, um. I'm not finishing me that. Me either. That is, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just shake it right there. Yeah, we need something to wash it. Can I get something to wash it down with? 
I don't even have anything to compare that to. Yeah, your boy ain't messing with these uh, chestnut rice cookie snacks. So you had a pocky before. I've never had a pocky. Let's try that. Let's check it out. I've never had a cookie and cream pocky. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm sure most of you guys have had a pocky, but mm, not that bad, right? Not that bad. Cookie okay, and cream e Hershey's with. I was expecting more of a crunch. Well, it's more like a soft bite. Once you get down to the bottom, it's a little crunchier because it's not covered in chocolate, but we're cooking in cream. That was pretty good. All right? Sweet potato chip is still at the top. Yep, so we're going we're gonna to put the pockets over here with sweet potato chips. They might get a rerun. Let's try some candy from Mexico because everything that we've had is from the Seoul Asian market. This one is a mango flavored chili covered candy. Mm, this is hot. Well... Depends on what your definition of hot is. There is chili peppers on the front of it and flames coming off of it, but the meter is in the middle. But you guys see what I'm referring to. It's like your, is it hot meter? No. Hit the outside of it right no. quick. Hit the outside of it right quick. Come on now. Don't quit yet. Bite into it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Get into it. Do it to it. Do it to it. Do it to it. Do it to it. That's good though. That's the end. I did get that sweet, but I also got that hot. If you keep going, it's good. See, what I mentioned about my wife not liking hot foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get through the outside of that one. But if you get through the outside of these things, that mango was delicious. That almost tastes like fresh mango. Oh I'm kinda I'm kinda split on this. I'm putting it over here. I'm gonna put that on the winning pile. Alright. Next time we get this. Limon. Regular old lollipop look with a little white coating. Gonna guess that is the salt. Jeez, I can't get mine open. All right. Mm. Mm. I'm not really getting anything. Me either, but salt. I don't even really get the salt. Like, I think I've been had. I, wait, there's the salt. Generic sucker. I feel like. That's what this is, just a generic sucker. Mm. We have to do without one. All right. It's not nearly as bad as that uh, chestnut cookie. <laughs> so along that same line, right. get you some of these uh, chamoy flavored soft candy here. Uh, okay. All right. It's got an interesting texture to it. Is it soft? Feels like. SOF capital T. Some of those fruit, those fruit bars. Texture of a fruit roll up, except it's a little bit thicker. Are these spicy? And it's sticky. I mean, they, they have, have a fireball. It doesn't have a fireball on the outside of it. Fireball. Nah. Oh, dear. Nah. I think if you can get past the outside. No. Nah. Or some decent flavor in there. Mmm. Boy, my dentist is gonna hate these. It got like a little kick to it, but it's sweet at the end. Let me cleanse mm. my palate. I don't need my palate cleanse. Nine grams of carbs for one. Boy, my count is done for the next couple days. Cleanse this palate. Don't you need to cleanse your palate? Mm. These look interesting to me because the packaging reminds me of the turtles. Mm, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm gonna right. guess that they won't be nearly as tasty though. Cute little packaging. Right. First piece of chocolate that I've seen. All right, let's go. Again, it's the outside is soft. Like that other chestnut cookie. 
but it's not bad. It's not something I'll reach for. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if these aren't even intended to be eaten like alone or by themselves, or if they're supposed to be like dunked in something or dipped in something. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys know anything about this product uh, and how it's supposed to be consumed. Because uh, I don't know if we're doing it right. So we got um, a box full of stuff I can't pronounce. Watermelon and pineapple candy. Okay. And then the mystery bag of pinata. Let's go with the cookies. And they're supposed to be for kids, but I mean, we're all somebody's kid. That's cute. It does say Korean cracker. Okay. In the box. Cool. I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Inside, Moving right along. <laughs> inside of this. I'm going to try it though. Because I brought it home. Hmm. Despite how the bag might smell, it's not bad. I said I'm good on that. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. We're here. We're in this together. We ride together. We oh, snack look together. Look at that little owl face. Ooh, ooh. It looked like an owl. Ooh. They dry. <laughs> They're not that bad. See? They taste like Ritz crackers. Yeah. All right, let's try these watermelon gummies. Oh my God, this is pure sugar. 16 grams of sugar. 22 grams of carbs for, for six, six pieces. pieces. All right. They're not, they not bad. No. Nah. That's all sugar. Yeah. You're talking about getting hyped up. Oh my God. Ooh, buddy. Side. It tastes like what you would think a piece of pineapple gummy tastes like. <laughs> you know what? That is the worst and best description I've heard of anything on this table yet. Oh. A candy pop. So apparently a Tammy Pop is fruit candy with salt and chili. And these boys are massive. Those are huge. <laughs> these boys look like they were legit wrapped in somebody's okay, kitchen. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I still ain't got What is this? What is this lava rock on a <gasps> straw? Like. These look homemade. <laughs> I'm telling you, this looks like an art project more than it does candy. <laughs> I can't, I can't get with this chili on candy. No. Ooh. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Your cousin kitchen candy is nasty, bro. <laughs> mm -mm, brother. All right, what do we got left? Pinata pack and then pop and cook. Do a mystery bag style. All right, what we got? Pineapple flavor. Is that what you got? Yeah. All right. Well. Some more chili. No, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one in. Was this chicken candy? Oh my God, what? <laughs> this, it looks like, oh, is that a bunny? That's a bunny on there. Bro, it's a chicken. Polito, okay. like, like pollo. I'm not getting to the what I want out of this candy. Mm -mm. Where's the chocolate? Well, I don't think that there is any chocolate to be quite honest with you. All right, I think I'm going to chicken out. <laughs> and, and not eat anything out of this bag. What? Hot chicken chip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last one. I think we've opened up everything else except for the popping and cooking. Uh, and what I didn't realize is that this was a DIY candy for kids. All right, so this comes with its own bento bowl and a little fork. 
rice ball candy powder, spaghettis. What do we got to do with this? Just add water. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. It's a cool box though. So what do you think? You know, the Seoul Asian candy, I can get with. Two of the things, the sweet potato chips and the pots. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a pocky right now. Everything else, I'm good on. I think I knew coming in I was going to like the pockies. Sweet potato chips actually was surprising. I didn't even really taste the sesame seeds. Uh, I'm all the way out on that chestnut. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever consumed a chestnut anything that I enjoyed, so. Chestnuts will speak. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody ever had no chestnut. Bruh, not a ever. Not, if you pulled out a chestnut at Christmas time, I wouldn't be able to tell you it was a chestnut. Even though you didn't like it, I like some of the, the chili candies that we had, like, the mango one, once you get past that chili, it was tasty. But my mouth was already saying no. I think that was more your head telling you no. Nah. My mouth was already saying no. My mouth was telling me no. Sorry. We don't support R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I still listen to his music though. Uh, uh, not messing with your cousin's kitchen candy <laughs> <laughs> on a straw. Nah, that's out. That's all the way out. Not messing with the homemade. I think you're really selling these mangoes short, though. If they would have switched, like, put the mango on the outs and the chili on the inside. But you want to finish with the chili? If you start with the chili, you finish with the mango? It's like, all right. Uh, all in all. Uh, this was fun. I, I think it was a success. Sort of. I'm going to have to find some people to share this candy with, though, because we can't let it all go to waste. Mm -mm. Some of this is not getting a rerun. I might finish off these sweet potato snacks, though, for sure. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. Appreciate you guys coming along for our tasting journey, going international with the candy. Uh, if you did watch the whole video and you've gotten to this point, please like, share, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Uh, and if you did get to this point and you did not like it, and you don't share it or subscribe, I'm not gonna be mad. But I feel like it was like 20 minutes of your time. You should at least hit that like button once. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, uh, we really appreciate it again. Uh, thanks and be on the lookout for another Detron Does It. But for now, peace.